Sunny Bonani, welcome back to another episode of Hearty Thursdays. Ngumama wezizwe sibia and I'm here to fill your hearts with art. In this podcast, we talk about art. We talk to the people behind the art. The people behind the people behind the art. And the people that make the art, but a lot of people don't know that they do. And today, we are so excited to have a dancer in the house. Po, 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 po. <laughs> Our guest to NS Baleni is an actor, choreographer, director, dancer, and writer. Whew. Welcome to Hearty Thursdays. How are you? Um. Well, thanks. Thank you so and much how for coming. Are you? I'm very good. I'm very yeah, good. Thank English. you for inviting me. It means a lot to me. So obviously the first question is tell me about you. <sighs> for me, about that question, it's mm-hmm. always the hardest question to answer. Yes. <laughs> because <laughs> I, 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 I sometimes prefer that people see myself for who am I. Okay. So I I, I, I kind of I, I find it difficult to explain myself because sometimes I feel like Gaucha Lagiri Nagimutasol is also only to realize that I'm not that kind of a person. But you can just tell me what kind of a person you think you are. Where were you born? Where did you oh, come right. from? Yeah. Like just general stuff. All right. I was born in Velkom in the Free State. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, 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 I was born there. And then I grew up there. Mm-hmm. I moved to Bloemfontein and to study performing arts. Mm-hmm. And then I moved to Jobek. But yeah, I was born in Velkom, Kimosut, Wafri Start. Okay. Then came to Jobek uh, to seek for cleaner pastures like we always do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People say Sotu is like easier compared to Tswana and Bedi. And honestly, I think Sotu is more difficult than Tswana and Bedi. What do you think? For me, I think all the languages, they are difficult, more especially if you don't know them. Because okay. I feel the same way with the other languages. Mm-hmm. However, in terms of Tswana and Sotu, they are more or less the same. Uh, Pedi, I would say it's difficult because it's far from Tswana and Sotu. But Tswana and Sotu, they somehow relate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in a way. One of my best friends is Pedi Okorisang. And I think that's why I think Tswana Sotu is difficult because I learned Pedi first. Yeah. So Sotu is like very different and it's very. And I always meet like real Sotus, not like Sotus from Jobek, but like yeah. people that are real Sotus speaking. And it's just, for me, it's very, very difficult. You started performing arts where and how was your experience? Uh, there's a school in Bloemfontein, mm-hmm. Sebizuam Mangaun Drama and Dance Performing Arts Academy. Mm-hmm. So they have partnership with Pekoffs. That's where I launched my career as 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 a professional performer. Mm-hmm. So I've been uh, in the institution and Lego Pekoffs. And it's, it's it's fortunate enough. It's it's a, it's a very small school that people don't know about it. Mm-hmm. However, it's very big in a way because it's 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 in a accreditation. I understand. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is but, it like an art school? Yeah, it's an art school. Oh, that's yeah, and it's been running for years. Yeah. Yeah, but most of the people in the first state they don't know about it. That's the sad part. And they run like learnership, internships, and mm-hmm. yeah. And how was your experience there? Like, have you always known that you wanted to art? I've always known that I want to do arts. That's why I went to the school. Mm-hmm. Uh, so because I I I I, I performed at Pegoffs mm-hmm. before I even went to school. So I I was doing the arts before I, I I even went to to school. So you were doing the arts in high school or after high school? Yeah, it's from high school. So oh, high school, nice. I was one of these people who will organize event, but mm-hmm. I will I will curate the trauma part of, of okay. the event. So mm-hmm. I was working closely with the teacher who was organizing the event. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was popular in school uh, because of trauma acting. Mm-hmm. Then when I went to school, that's when the school introduced me into dance. So I was not oh, a dancer okay. by profession. I was, I was an actor, yeah. And then I will, I, I, because I love creating, I will create works. I also had community group mm-hmm. uh, back at home where I stay. So yeah, I would I would play around with ideas and then yeah, I also love directing. So I would mm-hmm. I would direct shows and then they will play at Pegoffs even before I went to school. Oh, that's really really nice. I wish we had like extra mural or just subjects of art where I come from. So when did the love for art for acting start? Yeah, I was in high school. Mm-hmm. And then there's this friend of mine, Anna Bitolaiki uh, Sinda Pifani. So Sinda P Kimutoti Koskolong when I got to high school. Mm-hmm. So he was go go school already and he was very popular in school. Mm-hmm. So once we st- I started to become close with her, he introduced me into into the arts. I was like, No, actually I like this thing. So why not? That's that's how it started. Then I started oh, wow. to Which grade were you in? Grade nine. 
Oh, that's yeah. really, really nice. I think that's really, really nice. Oh, However, wow. go primary. Go primary mm-hmm. in terms of entertainment. I remember I used to do Zwana dance as well. So uh, I would do Zwana okay. But I didn't regard that as, 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 as the establishment of me wanting to be an artist. So I was doing it because... Mm-hmm. It's just there and I like it. It's just in front of my eyes and most of my peers they are doing it by then. And you probably didn't understand that it's actually art. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like yeah. when I go to high school that's when I started to oh there's eighteen, this mm-hmm. is drama, this is how we do it. Yeah. But the sad part, school Sarona didn't even have the subject as mm-hmm. the art. So it was something that we were doing as extramural activity. Oh wow, that's really nice. And when was the first time you ever danced? Like where you felt like, you know what, I want it for this. So what happened is that I went to school. Mm-hmm. I went to audition first. Okay. When I went to audition, I was I was an actor by then. Remember, mm-hmm. I was not a dancer. So, however, uh, I I used to do a physical theatre a lot, mm-hmm. and physical theatre incorporates choreography and movement. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So what happened? Well, I went to audition. I feel like auditioning, but okay, because this is a performing arts school. You need to sing for us dance for us and act for us and I can't sing to save a life I can't dance oh, wow. I didn't know how to dance by mm-hmm. then then I was like okay you know what now I'm an actor not a dancer but I'm here now there's nothing that I can do and I want to be in this school so bad mm-hmm. because this is what I want this is what I want mm-hmm. this is what I want to do so I, I just saw myself throwing myself around and they gave me a choreography. I was throwing myself around. And then after that, that's how it started. Oh, wow. How then, old were you? Then I think I was 22 by then. Mm-hmm. So I started dancing late. Yeah, I think I was 22 by then. Mm-hmm. So uh, then I came to Jobek. With the little experience of dance, I auditioned for a company called Voyani Dance Theatre. Nakona, I was just taking my chances mm-hmm. because I, I I I used to follow Gregory Macom. I don't know if you ever know him. Yeah, I, know I followed him, him a lot. Icon. So my mentor actually introduced me. That, uh, when I got to Bloomfontein, mm-hmm. I found myself a mentor. His name is Masedi Kotrimane. Mm-hmm. So in his office, we'll sit down, have conversations, and then we'll watch the videos that go for Yanni Dance Theatre. Mm-hmm. So that's how I developed the love for the campaign. Then I was like, Ish, one day I want to be in that campaign. Then I, uh, I think 2015, they came to Peckoffs, they did a show, okay. and then I was directing a show there, so it was compulsory for me to see the show. Mm-hmm. Then I saw the show, then I was like, damn, this is the company that I want to be at. However, in terms of dance, I still had the little experience. Then when they did auditions, I came to Joburg and I auditioned, and I found myself again throwing myself, <laughs> and then there I was in the campaign, oh, wow. uh, being a dancer. That's really, really nice. I wish I knew how to dance, hey. It's, it's, Everyone I think can it's, dance. I always say if ever we can walk, we can dance. Oh, no way, no way. Yeah, I'm telling you. I, no way. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing you guys on stage. No, I want to yeah. do that. I want to be able to express myself like that, but I don't think I can do it. Maybe you should take my classes. We'll I see. should. I should. Yeah. You should tell me about yeah. it. Because my classes that are designed for non-dancers because of how I started. Where well. are they? Where the, where, where? Normally, I, I now at, at the moment, I don't I don't have a specific place that I okay. teach. So I'm a guest teacher. Like I told I'm a guest teacher at moving to dance. When mm-hmm. they need teachers, they call me. I teach at NCT. There's this school Co Valley that uh, that I used to teach as well, um, Ayoba Film Academy. Mm-hmm. I also used to teach there. So I just move around for now. You should tell me when this stuff. I'm I'm definitely gonna come. I wanna be able to express myself through dance. Okay. Like I've tried through YouTube, but I was like, nah, you can't do this without a real out. instructor. So I need one. How was your experience um on Sion? Ha huh. <laughs> Oh wow. Okay. Sion. Mm-hmm. Sion is one of the production that I've ever done in my career that that is very close to my heart. Mm-hmm. So Sion is very close to my heart uh, because it has helped me to deal with a lot of things in my life, personally. Mm-hmm. So even Greg knows, I always tell him this, so I, without this work, I wouldn't have found closure of some of the things that happened in my life. Mm. So it's very close close to my heart and I don't think there will be any other work that will be closed as Sion in my heart because it mm. helped me to deal with some things that I couldn't deal with, especially growing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh wow, that's really deep. 
Okay. Um, so, like last year, I got tickets to go, but because I was working somewhere else, I couldn't go. And my heart, like I've been waiting for it. I remember it was August, then it was postponed to, I think, November, then it was postponed yeah. to January, then it was postponed that was to po- February. Uh, that was because of COVID. COVID yeah. yeah, and then I ended up losing it. And my heart, like even today, do you think it's going to come back? Uh, because now I'm not with the company, okay. I don't know what's 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 going on. Because mm-hmm. yeah, earlier this year I I left the company, so I'm a freelancer now. Mm-hmm. So I I don't know what's what's going on in terms of that. Mm-hmm. But surely because it's 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 a great and big it production is. that everyone uh, uh, they they look forward mm-hmm. in watching it. So I think there might be chances of it coming back, and I will I will also love. To see it now as mm-hmm. as, as as an audience, as an audience, yeah. as an audience member, so I I don't know at this point in time. Mm. I really yeah. hope it's gonna come back. I, yeah, I want to experience. Hope, yeah. I've seen videos. I've watched. Like yeah. I've, I've been following it even before. So but I, I really did hope invite you in some of the performance. Ne? Yes, and like I'm saying, oh, we could see it kept on. Yes, oh, it kept on postponing, right, postponing, yeah. and then the week that it was playing, I remember it was even my, like my birthday week, yeah. and the company that I was working for, there were shows that were happening that week, so I couldn't like drop work and go oh, and yeah. watch. So it was, yeah. yeah, it was. I was very hurt. I was very very hurt. That's Tell case. me about Peckoff's incubator program. Yeah, Pekoff's uh, in LA, this program by uh, an incubator. So incubator, mm-hmm. it's 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 more of developmental program okay. in a way. So they they teach young people how to write shows and how to stage them mm-hmm. shows. So you, you where is it based? That's nice. Pekoff's is in the free state. It's, okay. uh, it's uh, it's the whole meaning of thing. It's performing at center of the free state. Oh, so okay. it's like your okay. state theater, your job mm-hmm. theater based in the free, free state. state. Yeah. That's where most of the artists of Free State launched their careers. As oh, that's artists. really nice. And you yeah. were a part of it. How was your journey? My journey at Pecos was amazing because I met a lot of amazing people. And it taught me a lot of things because when, mm-hmm. when I got into the space, I, I, I didn't know uh, some of the things. So it had opened my eyes working with legends uh, around the space. And, because there's, there's the... We, uh, uh, on Nago Free State, we do have our own legends, Bo, mm-hmm. Bo Ta Oskamuti, uh, Moses Lichuti. So being around those, uh, uh, like such le- legends, for me, it was, it was, I felt honored or special in a way. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I enjoyed my time being at Pegops. That's really nice. To take you back, tell me about Zwagala Festival. Ha! Ah. When was that? 2013. So, Pekoffs used to have a festival called Tsoho Festival. Mm-hmm. Uh, what they would do, they would go around the free state, uh, do auditions, search for production that have potential. Even sometimes when they don't have potential, because I remember we'd have mentors and, 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 and people who work with us with the productions. Mm-hmm. So they would host that festival. And then we took a show called uh, The Secret, Go, go Festival here. Mm-hmm. And then we worked with Pram Polo Vinga mentoring the show. Lena is one of the best in the in, in the industry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, we worked with him mentoring the show. And then after that, we go uh, to a festival and go to And then after that, we went back home. Then Polo Vinga uh, called uh, called me and this other guy that I was working with, Tabi Solifiswan, mm-hmm. that he was running the community group. And I, I was running the community group with him. Understand. So he, he called us and he was like, Buffet too, there's this thing between community theater festival at the market theater. Before Zogala, there was community theater festival. Okay. So they're going around the country and they're looking for shows. So we suggested your show from Zoho Festival. Oh, that's then nice. that's when I met Bravais and the Errol. Mm-hmm. So they came to Free State and then they did auditions. And then I think they shortlisted like five shows. And our show in the Free State was the one that was selected. And then we came for community uh, theatre festival at the Market Theatre while it was at the Pass Factory. Mm-hmm. Uh, the festival uh, it, uh, consisted of the production of 45 back then. I remember in our, pro- in our program, I, get, I think nearly 50 or 40 mm. something. Then after that, they would select from that 50 to top 10. <sighs> then now that's Zwagala. So we have under, uh, underwent the whole process of that selection mm-hmm. from Kokasi in the Free State uh, to Market Theatre mm-hmm. Community Festival, then to Zwagala. Then from Zwagala, they choose one show and then they season it. 
Ah, oh wow. That must yeah. have been an amazing experience. It was. Ne? I know it was. Oh yeah. wow, the market theatre goes way back. Now I no. only know it now where it is. I don't even know that it used to be someone else. Yeah. That it used to be something else. Oh, that's really amazing. Um, tell me about Park Station. Park Station. So, before I came to Joburg, after my graduation, I went back home. Mm-hmm. Then when 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 I got when I got there, I was like, okay, now I've. Uh, I've graduated and I'm, I, 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 I don't know what is it that I want to do. However, mm-hmm. there's a community uh, art center. So I went back to the art center and then I was teaching dance there and acting. Mm-hmm. So I was playing around with the idea of, okay, what is it that I can do or else I have these bodies here. Then we, 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 we did something that we don't know in LA. After that, uh, the audition at Amakufe came, and mm-hmm. then we had something to present. We presented it, and then they liked it. Then I was like, okay, now it's the time that I need to work on it, because now it was going to be commissioned. Is Makufe Makuf. also a festival that takes place only in the Free State? Yes, okay. it's, it's, it's a Free State-based festival. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's a, it's, it's a very big festival in the Free State. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As artists, we look... We, 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 uh, we will look forward for the festival because mm-hmm. it's a very big festival in the first state, yeah. So they commissioned the show. Then uh, after that, that's when I started to break it down and uh, uh, with the cast as well. Then we, we found the name, yeah, Park Station. Yeah, however, so Park Station, basically, it was inspired by, 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 by my journey coming to Joburg, mm-hmm. and then being around... Uh, park station and then seeing different people with uh, mm-hmm. different personalities mm-hmm. so with different personalities so and 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 one other thing i, I remember Hapapi, what inspired it it was the workshop with the mm-hmm. i understand so he came in he did the workshop lerona after doing the workshop lerona or recently something mm-hmm. then i was like okay this thing now the potential woman so how about i continue Doing it. He was like, yeah, then why not? So in his show in in that workshop, he was exploring the moment of waiting. Waiting for something that you don't know that it's gonna come or what. Mm-hmm. So when we did park station as well, it was inspired by that. Okay, we're in a park station and oh, we're wow. waiting for a train. What if the train comes? And then if ever the, uh, what if the train doesn't, doesn't come? come. Mm-hmm. And if ever it comes, what's what's happening? Okay. So we were exploring all of those moments. Yeah. And it was a performance art piece. It had dance, acting, mm-hmm. and music. Mm. Yeah. Oh wow! Do you think about bringing? Do you ever think of bringing back the pieces or the work that you've done, like years back? Yeah, I do. But there's certain ones, you know, as as an artist as well. When I major, okay, this one is Kispan, but this one. I'm not That's sure. You know, whatever the mistake is, before mm-hmm. you get it right. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's, there's 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 shows that I would I would really love to to stage, and more especially here in Quebec, because mm-hmm. in Cubeta I've directed a show called Every Minute's a Blessing, but I didn't write that. It was written by my friend, and then I just added some text in it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's that, that's one show I would love to revisit. Mm-hmm. However, Please I was come. asking myself uh, one t- one time because your night was strictly acting. Because by then I was still an actor. I was asking myself, well, how would it be if ever it would become a movement, but not, uh, not, not. That works. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Actually, has a, I actually have a piece of just movement that I'm hoping to stage. Like I've been talking to some people and I'm hoping it's going to stage like beginning of next year. I I know nothing about dance, but when I was scripting it and when I was writing it, all I could see in my head was just movement. Movements. Yeah, and I hope I hope it's gonna stage very soon. Yeah. So you was the facilitator of the art in school EPWP program. Tell yes. me about it. Yeah. So EPWP program arts in school. It's a program under Department of Arts and Culture based in Free State. Okay. Whereby. Uh, they, they they take facilitators to work in schools okay. with the teachers who teach creative arts. Okay. So I would go to creative arts and then teach. So 
the teacher will teach the theory and then mm-hmm. I'll do the part of uh, Pract- the practical Pract- part yeah. of yeah uh, of of it. Oh, and wow. then at the end of the day they will make a festival for them and then they would perform. Which grade was that? 9 8? Uh I was working with two schools. Yeah, I think from grade I was working with primary from oh, okay. grade 3. Oh, that must have been nice. Yeah, so I was working from grade 3 Grade five, as kids, so grade five, that's standard, standard three. three yeah, yeah, I'm thinking, so grade five, so okay. so because grade three, they don't have creative arts. Yes, they but don't. But it, it starts from grade four. Four, yes. Yeah, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, mm-hmm. up until I don't know where. So I was working with grade fives and grade six. And how was the experience working with kids? I think I love working with kids in yeah. general, I, I love, kids are fun, kids are amazing, and, and kids are curious. Nah. Yeah, kids are very curious. They don't give you a problem. No, no, they don't. Because they're they, always eager to and, learn. And, and they, 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 they even challenge you to even think more because there are questions. You know, kids questions a lot. <laughs> they question everything. They question everything. Em, almost Why everything. should we move like yeah. this? Why should we yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm, I'm, I, I love, I love, I love teaching. Yeah. I love teaching. Yeah, I, I, I love, I love playing around with ideas. That's really nice. Tell me about the first time you went overseas. Huh. First time I went overseas. <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember when they told me. Uh, so Craig asked me one time, "Would oh, you have a passport?" So when you audition for a company back then, even now, they they tell you that uh, you must have a passport because anything can happen, whether it's a trainee or whether it's a company man. Mm-hmm. So uh, I remember when when they told me that uh, I was going overseas. I was I was not sure. Because co company, I, I used to struggle a lot because I my, remember I told you uh, I had little experience in terms of dance. So I used to struggle a lot with that. Then I had to put in overtime in terms of my work for, for me to become a better dancer. So when they told me, I was not sure, is it me who's going or what's going on? <laughs> uh-huh. And then Baba Tla passport, Gabafa passport, I was like, okay, it's happening. But I was still not sure. Yeah. I was like, Where okay. were you going? Where were you going? I was going to Romania. So that was my first tour. Okay. Romania, yeah. There's a, there's a festival in Romania, Ibizwanga. I, f- I forgot its, it's what, name. Which yeah. play were you guys doing? We were doing Sion. Yeah, so my first my first tour overseas, it was with, with Sion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yo, I was excited. Which year was this? This was 2018. Okay. Yeah, it was 2018. So when, when they told me, I was excited and... I was in disbelief at the same time. Mm-hmm. Okay, ish, this thing, very, very, is it's it happening, happening or yeah. what? Yeah. And oh, scared wow. at the same time because for fun. So, <laughs> yeah, like, I've never been on a plane yeah, as well. Yeah. Back, yeah and I want to travel. So I'm always curious and I'm always listening to these stories of artists that are just like, yo, yeah. my first time was wherever, wherever. And yeah. this is how it went like, this is how it was like. And I'm just like... I would I would love to go there. It's an amazing experience. Yeah. Yo, it's a, it's a beautiful. Seeing the world, I'm sure it just opens up your mind and you just believe in a lot of things. And someone said um, when they were here, they were saying you just realize how small you are. Most the world definitely. is just so it's, big. It's so big. Yeah, no, that's that's true. Yeah, wow. that's true. I'm looking forward to my first um traveling experience just outside of South Africa. Yeah. How was your experience at Rhythm City? I was, I think I was still scared as well, mm-hmm. because when these things were happening, sometimes you're not sure mm-hmm. whether is it happening or what. Yeah. <laughs> well, I understand that. So when, 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 because what happened is that uh, the casting director, they wanted someone who can dance and act. Okay. And then they approached Usia from uh, Vianne Dance Theatre, our marketing manager, go, the marketing manager called Vianne Dance Theatre. Mm-hmm. So, because... In the company, I was the one who was able to act and dance at the same time. They were like, okay, there's the Kika Rhythm City, you are doing it. I was like, okay, all right. And then they gave me all the details, and then I went on set. And then when I got on set, I did what I did, to, what needs to be done, and then I shot. But it was an amazing experience. And having to see people that you grew up uh, watching Looking them on TV, to, yeah. and then now you are working <laughs> with, with them. them yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit scary as well. I was scared. More especially mm-hmm. when I walked in Kosasani Studios as well, sitting there, seeing these people in gowns, just walking in. And Baba and Baba the script. And Kamolina, I'm raising with uh, the Limapula, the scene that we're going to shoot. It, it, it was 
beautiful and scary at the same time. Ne? And into an hour and on three people, is it? Is it? <laughs> is this real? Is it Am I dreaming? Am yeah, I? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. wake up now, yeah. Ernest. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. And how was? How was? Was it your first time on set? Yes, it was my first time. And how was it? Because I know that it's different from theater. Yeah, it's it's it, it's different because remember theater it's very big and TV it's just small. Mm-hmm. However, however what what happened is that uh, during our rehearsal already the director was happy with the performance that I gave so it okay. made it made a lot of things easier mm-hmm. because they were able to welcome me in a manner of okay you need to relax because you are here. Said uh, what 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 was even worse when I got on set I think in terms of no relax, when I got on set, the person who was directing the episode that I was shooting, it was actually someone that I know from the community art center in the free state. Oh, uh, that's the uh, so... yeah, yeah, she was the one. So I was like, okay, I'm not saying that I'm gonna relax, but now my nerves the. Because this is someone that I know. It's yeah, like and, a and how face. she guided me as well. Oh, <laughs> no, you do this and that and that. Okay, now we should just see you are drunk, you're having a, a, an empty bottle. Okay, let's give him the bigger one because he's mm-hmm. going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of That storyline, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah, it makes things easier for me. And after that, everyone was happy with my performance. Yeah, even the casting director as well. She came to me, she was like, hey, if it... What what do you do? I'm like I'm a dancer and an actor. I was like, oh, you should consider taking acting as 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 the career, not just focusing on dance only. Oh wow, you yeah. should tell me about Unknown, which was staged under Vianney Week. That's the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unknown. Eh? So with the piece, I was exploring how the future might look like or how do we think the future look like mm. so i was interrogating the fact okay, does the future exist if ever the future exists each one is it this glamorous thing that we think that mm-hmm. it is or, or or king or maybe maybe there's pain in the future we don't know however one thing that we need to do we just need to hope that we are going somewhere mm. somehow so I was interrogating that thing, Jorge, does the future exist or not? If ever it exists, how does it look like? And if ever it exists, who has been into the future? So mm-hmm. it was that curiosity to ask myself those kind of questions. So then I was like, oh, but these questions, I didn't have to grab. Then yeah. I found myself, and then that's when I titled the piece unknown. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Art. <laughs> Artists are going to remind you that this life is not just on the surface level, but everything is deeper than that. Tell yeah. me about Isililu. I've watched it like twice and I want to watch it again. I know. I want to watch it again. Yeah. yeah. So Isililu, how it came about, Siabonga is my friend. I mm-hmm. So he had this idea that he had and they were already working on. And he came to me, I was like, hey, you know what? I would love to add dance in the piece. Mm-hmm. So can you just come over? Then I went and then I feel already the process had started. I joined later on on the process. Mm-hmm. And then when I got there, uh, I, 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 I ended, up, uh, ended up working closely with Numisa, of which it made us both directors of, of the show. Mm-hmm. So we were both coming up with ideas in terms of, so yeah, in terms of putting the whole thing yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And how was the experience like during Isli? Because Isli is like a very deep play, and somehow you guys found a way to make it funny in a bit and to make it just digestible, even though it's very heavy yeah. and it's based on like real events. The experience, more especially having to listen to the interviews that uh, Sia did, because Sia. Uh, did interviews uh, before he he even started writing the show. Mm-hmm. So he interviewed the the victim, uh, the families, the, the families yeah. not the victim, yeah, mm-hmm. the families of 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 those people by life as it mean. So time and again, I will listen to the voice notes and and whatever thing and making research and looking at this 
sad story and i remember go wrestling sometimes it would be hard because remember go go wrestling we explore moments mm-hmm. uh, the, i remember one time go wrestling you see that moment where by uh, the father was uh, uh, loses his mind mm-hmm. uh, when we exploring that moment in rezal everything just became very dark in a way and we as as directors we find ourselves not knowing what to say and mm. that's when we started to realize oh, how deep the work is yeah. yeah because it's 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 very sensitive and one other thing that uh, Sia would always remind me of we 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 need to take the we need to treat the work with care because the work uh, it, it is based on real events yes. so at the end of the day you don't want to offend people yes. who went uh, through that however the families they ca- they came and then they watched the presentation and and they were amazed i remember some of them would cry during the performance and yeah yeah it's it's it's, it's just yeah yeah some scenes i did too both times <laughs> Uh, me too as well as, as someone who went with the project and uh, when i'm sitting there watching them perform i will find myself just with uh and mm-hmm. then i will wipe myself so that people don't see that i'm crying yeah, yeah. But, but it's also very beautiful like it's it's very beautiful work like the first time i watched it was at the forge obviously yeah. um i think last year may or april was and then march, yeah. march yes yeah. and then this year at the market theater when there was a whole like different the place that the, festival, yes yeah. and it is ah, wow yeah the workman it's like you get the message but still, you guys found a way to make it easy for us to take it because it's very heavy. Yeah, it, like it's very heavy. Think, but there's yeah, just few laughs yeah. and the cast, amazing yeah. cast, the directing, yeah. amazing. Everything is just, ah, man. How you use everything to be anything, and it's just, yeah, it is, it's 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 amazing. I it's think amazing. I think we as 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 people uh, we play God into Tesseras in a way. So that was the approach. Okay. This thing is very serious, and at times you don't want people to feel heavy because mm-hmm. already the story is heavy. So the conversation was like, how can you find a lighter, a lighter way of telling the yes. story? I understand. And and and. Nakita kwaone as batwa batu kudala kanto te serious. Yes. I understand. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the time. <laughs> all the time. So so and 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 this is this is the sad part. We hide behind those kind of things. Yes. Because you will be laughing, saying that I'm hungry, and then I'll be joking about it, only to realize that. Vele, vele, For real, yeah, Ulandi. I'm hungry. Do you understand? Yeah. So yeah, we as black people, we we have that thing of hiding behind jokes, and we joke about everything in this yeah. country, Shamil. Everything. Everything. <laughs> so how has your experience facilitating dance workshop workshops at the University of Zululand? Ah, that was the best time of my life. Yeah, tell me about it. So remember I told you about my mentor, eh? mm-hmm. uh, Godfrey Manning, of which we met in, in Bloemfontein. Yes. Is then he still he your mentor even now? Even now. He's oh, my father, nice. that one. Yeah, he's my father at any time. Yeah. I'm hoping to find a mother or father somewhere. <laughs> Definitely you will when the time is right. Yeah. So yeah, I call him father. So even today we speak da- we speak daily. Ebege never if it was a yeah, so we we yeah we speak a lot there. Yeah. So what happened? He 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 moved to uh, KZN, and then he's a lecturer at University of Zululand, and he was like, "Hey man, uh, I would love you to come and do the workshop." And there's this idea that I'm working on that I'm taking to Cramstown, and I would love you to leave some uh, material for me. So, yeah, and I was like, yeah, you are my father and I owe you. I'm saying this on anything. record. I owe you anything. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. anytime when you call, everything stops. And then it stops, I went. However, I had the best time of my life. Uh, I had the best time of my life. You know, at times you get into a space and understand maybe it's 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 creative arts department. It's, it's creative arts students. Mm-hmm. However... You might come to school and find that your love when I go visual arts, your love yes. eco acting. Yes. Uh, however, when I left the space, uh, everyone, they felt in love with dance. And that's what I always want to achieve every time when I teach over, okay, 
I want to teach people who don't know and make sure that they see the the better side of dance. And mm-hmm. when I leave, they enjoy it. Like they enjoy doing it because I remember even last time my father called me. I'm phoning. I'm very tuned. Sing it to me. How was I made like um when I play? Cause I have play. I have music that I have. The music that I teach with, the consistency, how change. Mm-hmm. There's pina kalang, pina bubedi. So every day I teach one thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. So my classes they don't change mm-hmm. um, I, until we hit a certain level. You wanna okay? Now they understand this thing better. Then I can up the level. Mm-hmm. So uh, every time when he plays the music that I teach class with, then everything go crazy. <laughs> Good lesson. So that's why I'm for one time. I'm for to sing it because I'm a male. So every time they want me to play your music and then they will do your movements, they will do that. And for me, I find it very heartwarming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. oh, well, I remember. I think it was was it 2020? Did we meet 2020? I think we met 2020. And you invited. Was it not 20? Because I think we met. Go, it was late 2020. Go show your chef. Yes. Oh, go keep right. Go keep peace. Yes. Yeah. It was late 2020. And then I think a few weeks later, you guys were having a rehearsal kind of a thing at the market. Not the lab, but the market market. Yeah. And oh. you invited. Because I remember when I met you guys, oh. it was you, Sembonga, Masai, so, yeah. um, Motlacho. Yeah. And there was Sive as well. And Usive was like, I was asking you guys, what do you do? <clears throat> As I said, he does poetry. Um, there was even Billy. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, and then they were like, you dance. You were wearing, you were wearing like a Delela. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, you do like, like look like a dancer. And yeah, Siam Bong was like, no, not that kind of dancer. Because obviously <laughs> yeah. I was thinking it's Pantula. <laughs> yeah. And then when yeah. he invited me to your thing and I saw it and I remember I, I posted a post on my status and yeah. I said, my perspective of theater has changed for I the remember. rest of my life. Because, like, what I saw there mm. when you guys were there on stage and you were just moving, I was like, I never thought something like this mm. existed. And from there on, I never looked at art like, as a whole in the same. And, yeah, I, I honestly understand why those students would feel or do what they do. Because it's just like, oh, my goodness, mm. I don't know. I would pay... I would pay everything to come and watch you guys perform again. Tell me about Dust. Dust. So I saw a, um, one of my friends send me an, a post yard audition mm-hmm. in Renpeck. Then I went, I was like, okay, you know what, let me just try my luck because I'm sitting, I'm not doing anything. Mm-hmm. This is now me as a freelancer. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not doing anything today, so let me just go and see uh, what's, what's, what's going on there. Mm-hmm. And I went to auditions, and I auditioned. And then they, they, they took me. And yeah, we started rehearsing, I think, around May. Yeah, and we, we went to Cramstown. So it, it was choreographed by Melissa. Yeah, she's 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 an amazing choreographer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's an amazing uh, uh, piece. However, very challenging in a way. For me, it was very challenging because I was only the black person in the cast, so I was dancing with white people. So it was just me. So my way of moving as well, because I specialize with African contemporary a lot. So my way of moving it was a bit uh, foreign. Uh, not for rain because I think they 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 know uh, that kind of mm-hmm. of dance mm-hmm. because they are dancers. Uh, however, I will do things differently than them. However, that's what uh, Melissa enjoyed watching because I remember one time she was like to me, "I really enjoy how you move because it's so different." Yeah, and that's what I wanted to bring in, in the work, and it was an amazing uh, project for me. We went to Cramstown and perform and came back. Yeah, and yeah, what in terms of dust. In terms of dust, yes, so okay. so this this is this is what Melissa said. Okay. Uh, we just exploring dust, and there's dust. So make your own story out of this. Mm-hmm. So we're playing with a lot of powder, and so it was me finding my own journey within dust. So there was who knows now. Because there was a thing. It was for the first time working with her, but how she works, Kikore. Okay, this is the, the idea. Explore this idea in your own chain. 
Don't understand. So it, it, it was it was just that we were playing around with dust. Nah. Yeah, we were just playing around with dust. And I feel like um, it's very nice when you go watch a play and people are playing. Because yeah. that's what I've realized in most of the things, most of the theater plays that I enjoy. Like when they just like play with this idea. Because that's yeah. what a play is. You're supposed to play and just enjoy it and just be in the moment and just let out your creativeness yeah. to come out and not just try to follow something and think about it and all of that. Yeah. Take me through the feeling and what is Lala in a festival? So the feeling, it's, it's, it's my solo work that I've created in 2016 mm-hmm. as, as a trainee in Go Go Okay. Yeah, uh, he created as a trainee of because as a trainee, uh, the, the tasks are you at the end of the year, you need to create something so that you get assessed for you to go into the next level, whether okay. you become the junior campaign or the senior campaign. So, with the work, uh, there was actually that was the point in my life whereby I felt or I was in the middle of nowhere, hence the feeling. So, the uh, feeling to suit to it uh, that means in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. So I was I was I was really tracing back uh, how I grew up uh, on my mom's side and my dad's side, and mm-hmm. I was trying to make sense of of my belonging, and I felt myself in the middle of nowhere. Then that's that's how the work was born, and yeah, I'm I'm still I'm still I'm still I'm still there. <laughs> because I have, I have lots of questions. This is me, and in terms of my work, I only have lots of questions, but not answers. Mm-hmm. One understand. So yeah, I feel questions a lot about my upbringing in terms of culture and tradition because there's a lot of the things that I know because half of my life, my my, my father was not there. Mm-hmm. So some of the things I I, I I needed to figure them out by myself. On own, yeah. One understand. So. Yeah, I, I I felt myself in the middle of nowhere. Then earlier this year, when 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 I left the company, I performed it go free state as 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 my first uh, project as 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 a freelancer. Mm-hmm. So uh, when 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 my friend came to me and told me, oh, okay, go 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 free state to another festival, and then they they will love us to bring something. And then I was like, okay, I do have a work I like created in twenty seventeen. So I really want to revisit this work because it's my solo work. And mm-hmm. now as a freelancer, I feel like I wanna do a solo work because solo works they are not a better way, but in terms of establishment of the artist, I kind of yes. feel like solo works, they give you the yes. establishment that you need because people get to know who really yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. understand. So, yeah, then I did that. I, I revisited it and then I, I, I now re, re, uh, uh, reworked it with two bodies on, 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 uh, on stage because I was looking at like 45 minutes show now. Then I invited Yonela, of which she's a singer, and James, he's an actor. So I use two bodies. They play the the, the characters of my parents, and I'm the child mm. in, in the whole way. Yeah, in the in the in the work. And later on, God, we perform a good Lalawena showcases. So Lalawena showcases. It was its first installation this year, whereby they they took. Uh, they opened actually a call to the public saying that we are looking for. Uh, the production Gomake Theatre. So, but not looking in a way because it, it was not a pain thing. It was, okay, let's try out this thing. If ever uh, we get to choose the work, we commission the work. Not mm-hmm. commission the work. We give you the space uh, to just stage the work and then it's going to be uh, how, uh, I, could, I don't know what was the percentage of the door takings. So uh, I went there and then I performed there and yeah, we, uh, we're still waiting in terms mm. of yeah, the result. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. What's moving into dance? Moving into dance? Moving into dance, it's moving into dance. <laughs> Tell me about it. No, it's, 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 it's a dance company based in, in Newtown. Okay. So it's Moving into dance, for me, I would say it's 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 one company that has produced uh, mostly uh, black dancers in this country. Mm. So it, Where is it? Where is it? Gave, in Utah? 
It's go past factory. You know where past factory is. Uh-uh. Oh, you know where past factory is. You don't know baseline. I don't. I only discovered like back factory. Yeah. I think like a. Week you don't know or where baseline is. A, a month or two ago, I don't know where past factory is. You know where Saibono is. Yes. You see there by Saibono. Saibono is park, the streets of um, Tin Town, but Tin Town is there's up, a park. Up there. Yeah, yeah. There's a park. Saibono, where? So, I give you a banana Saibono. It's a maso street to your body. Yes. Oh no. Go Saibono. There's a park. So Saibono, are you approaching the market or are you no, going, going the to other Tintan. way? Going to Tin Town. Going to Tin Town. Okay. Up from Market Theatre. Okay. Uh, you walk past Park Akamo on your right. There's a park on your right. There's a, you know where where Kasmi is. Mm, I no, need I must, to know I must your take town. you. I must. Yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, need I must to take you to Newtown. Yeah. I need to know, the, know yeah. these No, but spaces. it's based in Newtown, not far from Market Theatre. I would love it's not, to know it's the not spaces. Far, yeah, the yeah it's not far from Market Theatre. Yeah, it's not far. But it's one of the oldest dance companies mm. in this country that has produced a lot of dancers. Mm-hmm. Like your Gregory Malcoma, your Vincent mm-hmm. Mans, those dancers that we look up to, yes. most of them they come there and today they are running their own Thank institutions. Yeah. And amazing, yeah. amazing institutions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no idea. Oh, wow. So, how is teaching at the National Children Theatre? It's, it's very challenging. Yeah, in what way? Tell me about it. You know, as, as a teacher, you find different kinds of groups and I teach African contemporary and there's white people white kids that I teach as well so sometimes I kind of feel like the style that I teach for them it's 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 kind of boring so I, I, but I, I think I'm, I'm finding a better way of making them enjoy it. However, this is me thinking. I don't know about them. Mm-hmm. This is me thinking. Mm-hmm. I don't know about them. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking. However, now, in terms of me being there, I love being there. Yeah. Yeah. And the welcoming as well, how they welcome me. I felt I feel like because I, st- I only started teaching the July. Mm-hmm. However, I feel like it's been yes because of how they've welcomed, welcomed me. Yeah. yeah, so I feel I feel at home. Yeah, I feel at home. So yeah, yeah. That's 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 all I can say. However, with the student, I'm finding a way. The thing is, they are not the dancers that I normally teach. So the ki- some of the kids who goes there, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's them seeing, coming to test, okay, do I like this thing or I don't? That's why it's also on Saturdays. I teach on Saturdays. So you might find some kids, they are there because they want to see, okay, do I like this thing or what? So for me, I don't want to try and force mm-hmm them to love it. I don't know if you understand what where I'm coming from. I do. So 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 yeah it, it it's there to re in more teachers and thing I would I would I'd find people who are doing this thing and who love it. Yes. One understand so having to teach people who 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 are not sure whether they love this thing or what for me it was it was a big challenge. However I love teaching people who don't know. So my job as a teacher is make sure that you love it. And mm-hmm. they, 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 they're enjoying it. They're enjoying it. For me, it was very challenging. However, I find them enjoying it. Yeah. Mm. I've, I always thought that I want to be a teacher, but I don't know if I have the patience. Eh? I don't know. I think I am a very patient person. Yeah. But I don't know if I have the patience that it, patience that it takes to be a teacher because I feel like to be a teacher you have to love being a teacher yeah. before anything else and then you have to love what you're teaching before yeah. anything and it else it takes a lot nah. yeah it takes a lot yeah yeah what is your why why life at times has to be the way it is 
I don't know what that means, but I find myself asking that. Hmm. Do you think you have an answer? No. <sighs> Maybe I should create a work with that. Isn't nah. It? I think so too, because it makes you think. Yeah. And that's the whole point of theater and art, more yeah. especially, to make people to question and yeah. find the answers within themselves. Because life is just something else. Yeah. Do you think dancers are getting the right recognition, respect, and opportunities? Not in this country. Ne? Yeah. No, not in this country. Yeah, not in this country. I don't think so. Don't you think as artists, it's high time we create these opportunities for ourselves? Don't you think it's time we respect this art for ourselves? Don't you think it's time we recognize art Our. ourselves? I, I think it is time. Uh, however, my biggest question is what what do we do Cause like with, with that? Because we, the uh, upcoming uh, yes. theater makers, mm -hmm. I think we are not united in a way. True. So that's why I get it. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because we are expecting the government or people that don't even understand the art to understand us yeah. and to respect yeah. us. But, but we don't we respect exactly, each other. Exactly. So as, it's as, just, yeah. how is it going to work yeah. when we don't respect each yeah. other? When we don't give each other opportunities. Like, I'm li like you would find a good tea. This is just an example. Um, I'm a dancer and you're a dancer and I see an opportunity. And I'm not going to tell you about it because I'm like, now NS shouldn't be better than me. Yeah. But it's just like, how are we expecting other people to do the same thing when we are not doing it yeah. as artists? So I just think it's time we do it for ourselves. Because uh, I, 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 I always believe that uh, art is not competitive yes. in a way. It can we, never yeah, be. It can, it can never, never be competitive. Be. It's yeah. so different. I remember we so used to have this conversation purposes. with my peers when mm -hmm. I was uh, go go Vian as well. Hore. Why is art competitive? Yes. And for me, I don't find it competitive. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, art is not competitive to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, for me. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, I think it shouldn't be. I think art is supposed to, it has a greater purpose yeah. than what we are giving. Like it's, it should heal, it should teach, yeah. it should make people to question, to feel, to think. So if we are competing, what are we competing for? Because we are serving the same purpose. So it's just, it doesn't make sense. And theater, it's the only place whereby you play with people's mind and yes. they pay for privilege. <laughs> yes. It's, it's the only place that you True. can get whether you're able to play with mm -hmm. people's mind and they pay for the privilege. Oh, wow. Um, do you have any advice for people that want to make a living from dance? Or from art in general? Yeah, man. It's, 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 it, the thing is, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. So if ever you say advice, I, I, I wouldn't know how to, to, to answer that. Uh, yeah. Advice is just... Things you've learned in your journey or maybe yeah. from lessons you've learned from the mistakes that you've made yeah. just so someone else doesn't make the same mistakes. I think that now I would say staying true uh, true to who you are as, as the creator or as, as a theater maker. Mm -hmm. uh, because at times when when I always ask myself when people create five works a year, Buying a guy appetite shall create. Don't understand. Because yeah. uh, for me to be able to create a work, I need to be inspired by 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 something. So I would say, as 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 theater makers or as 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 young upcoming people who want to make theater, stay true to who you are, and you'll see the industry has a lot to offer. True. However, you need to find your way to maneuver around. Yes. The industry. That's that's the honest truth. Me too. So yeah. it's uh, for me. I think staying true to who who am I, it has led me to where I am today. True. I think yeah. staying true to yourself makes it easy for people to find you because exactly. people that have the money that have the opportunities know exactly, exactly. what they want. Yeah. So if they go looking for blue, and when uh, sometimes you're gray, yeah. you're peach, you're yellow, they're not gonna find you. But if you're blue, they will definitely find you. And if you're yellow, if the people with the money and the opportunities are looking for yellow, they're definitely gonna find Most you. Definitely. So I think that's very great yeah. advice. What inspires you? Uh, I think 
my cycle inspires me a lot. My cycle inspires me a lot. Uh, when 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 you ask me a question, you know, I must list my favorite uh, favorite five favorite, favorite artists. artists. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do that because my circle it's circle. I can give give a and they are the people who inspires me because they are in the industry. So they are my peers and they inspire me. So and they do uh, more or less the same what I do. So I couldn't say, oh, okay, as a musician, Kirata Koli, as 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 a dancer, Kirata uh, to as 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 an actor, Kirata Katlocholotsolonyan or Pililang or I couldn't say that. But my circle inspires me a lot because Having to see uh, Siabonga and Masai pushing the way they are pushing, having to see um, who's having to see Pilan as a set designer pushing the way he's mm-hmm. he's pushing. For me, that that inspires me. So, and I feel like we 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 need to have that. And we speak a lot about this thing. In fact, if ever the opportunities are not, are not there, let's create our own opportunities yes. because we'll keep on saying that we're waiting for funding. And funding yes. sometimes about check out who's this guy? How old are you? What have... What you what, understand. I so like so with the circle that I have around me, like, you know, if ever about you're not getting these things, let's let's make let's our make own. It. So we will sit down and, and, and imagine and dream. And so that inspires me. Mm-hmm. My circle inspires me a lot. Oh, yeah. wow. And I think that's very important. I always talk about how your network is your net worth. Yeah. And I think that's just something that has helped me a lot in this journey. Because the people that you keep in your circle, if they're not pouring into you and you're not pouring anything back at them, it's just, it's, it's, it's useless. Mm, yeah. So the, I, try to, I try my best to keep people that inspire me around me. Because when I look at my statuses just on WhatsApp, I'm like, yo, congratulations. Mm. Congra- yeah. I'm like, I've sent three congratulations already. What yeah. am I doing? Yeah. I should do something as well. And already just seeing them win and seeing them, seeing them do all these amazing stuff just inspires me to I feel you. push and just do something, yeah. man. Where do you see yourself professionally in the next five years? In the next five years, I don't know. I don't know what life has to give. But what are you hoping for? You know, my 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 plan is to go back home mm-hmm. and implement something because I come from a very disadvantaged community in the free state. So that's why I get it. I don't know five years, ten years, because I don't know what life has to give. Uh, I understand you, yeah. yeah but what life but has my to biggest, you, yeah. my biggest, my biggest dream is to really go back home and implement something because back at home they they don't understand what I do. Eh, uh, kia kilega di kabudi holidays. They like, in fact, you just came from New York. Who knows New York? And sometimes it becomes a lie. Or I, how do you get to New York? Yeah. What's that? One understand. So they they don't understand. Mm-hmm. I remember one time. We were having a conversation about my uh, about theater, my chance. They don't know what theater is, but about yeah. theater This is where people get operated. Yeah. So that's how they regard yeah. art back at home. However, now having to see me uh, coming from that disadvantage. Uh, community and doing all of these things okay, it yeah. inspires them a lot now that's when they become interested oh, okay so what, okay what is it York, exactly Washington, doing, yeah. go, Fra- or go france or go i understand now what's what's this thing so i really want to go back home and impart nah. yeah impart that and yeah. give them knowledge and hopefully in the future have productions that tours from that place to overseas, to overseas. yeah wow. so that you don't need to come to Joburg to be able to go to overseas and that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Like, yeah. I'm just trying to find collaborators to take back home. Because yeah. where I'm from, I think I'm, I'm a bit fortunate because people, um, the young people actually understand the arts. Yeah. Our parents, the elders don't understand it at all. But the young people are actually trying. Like, they are moving. They're getting to these spaces. Yeah. They are creating. They are doing all these things. But the opportunities are just not there. However, so, you know what's, what's said? It's mm-hmm. only the cycle yes. of people who understand that. Yes. So not everyone, everyone else in the don't. entire community. Yeah, yeah, it's just like those five, six, seven, yeah. eight people that yeah. get it. And it's just everyone else don't get it. Yeah. So, And 
if more people don't get it, they can't support it. Exactly. So even the artists that are back at home, they don't get support, they don't get the money, they don't get the opportunities because people don't understand what is it that they're doing. So for instance, um, there was a photographer here, he's actually in Italy now. I was telling him about how there's someone called... Um, Boomy, he calls himself Black from Back at Home. Yeah. And he's a photographer. He's been doing it for years now. But he's not getting any opportunities because no one understands what he does. People are just like... And it's okay. Oh, God, you know, babe, that's yeah. it. So it's just like... like it's yeah. just, But it's not that. It's art. It's and it's art, just yeah. how he creates it. How he's a creative director as well from how he makes sure how people are wearing where they are and all of that. But they don't even understand the terms yeah. of this whole art industry. So it's just... I'm trying to take it back home as well. Yeah. So quick questions. I have like five questions. Don't think about them too much. Okay. Um, what's your favorite memory? Uh, growing up, uh, city, uh, staying at my grandmother's house. Yeah? Yeah. Did you have siblings, cousins? I'm the only person. I'm the only son. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm the only child. Okay. Uh, however, I, I never had clothes close relationship with my mom in a way because okay. only then when my grandmother passed on okay. then after that my mother passed on then I went to stay with my grandmother with my aunt yeah okay choreographing or directing being creative <laughs> that's not being the able question. to play around with the idea <laughs> that's not the question <laughs> directing I'll go with directing okay yeah. acting or dancing Dancing. Okay. Two people you wish to meet? Denzel Washington. Mm-hmm. And Viola Davis. Two people you wish to work with? Vincent Manzi. And Akram Khan. Okay. One prayer that must be answered. Why should we have to suffer? But that's not a prayer. That's <laughs> right, a question. I don't know. I don't that's know. a question. I don't know. One pray, like what is it that you're praying for that you're hoping will happen? That One. things that things become better in this country in terms of the state of the art. Ne? Yeah. As an artist, Shambu, it is better. How do people find you, contact you, socials? Instagram, Balin underscore Ernest, Facebook, Balin Ernest, yeah, and yeah, it's just Facebook and Instagram, I don't have Twitter, yeah. Okay, Um, and that is it for today, Um, thank you so much for coming, today Mm -hmm. we had an amazing, amazing artist, and I must tell you that I'm really inspired myself, thank you so much for coming, thank you, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please make sure that you tune in next week, Thursday, for another episode. Please make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and comment. If you would like to advertise your product or brand, please email us. If you're working on a project and would like to have some assistance, please do send us an email. The email is mamaforwork at gmail.com, which is M-A-M-M-A, the number four work, at gmail.com. This is Umama Wazizwa Sibia, and I hope I'm leaving you with a heart full of art.